So you've caught me in this space before. This is where we ring the bell each Sunday morning. There's the rope. This is a hemp rope that we have here. So you actually can get splinters from this. But anyway, uh, that we ring each Sunday morning. Now, why am I bringing in you in here again? Well, there's a trap door that heads up to where the bell is, which I've climbed into. And it's not to go back there. Did that once, don't need to do it again. Nor is it to show you the view, which I think I have. This is the view from the window, which simply is a second floor view of Saratoga Road. That's not why I brought you here, nor is it to show you the stuff that just simply gets stored here. One of the things that churches seem to always want more of is storage space, and this is a space which does hold some things that you may not know exist here. It is actually to add again to some of the lore that surrounds Glen Alde Crafts. It has been shared with me that there is a story that once this sanctuary part was completed, including this space, um, that after Glen Alde Crafts wrote his sermons, he would come into this room and he would close the door and he would remain in this space until his sermons were memorized. So that though he had a manuscript, he had no use for the manuscript because he had spent the time to memorize them in this space. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, and I have a hard time imagining myself. Maybe I'd have to be a little more intentional about clearing out some stuff, but I have a hard time envisioning that discipline of crafting a sermon, then coming into a space, closing myself into that space until I had it memorized, and not all of us have the gifts of that kind of route memorization. But that is one of the stories that exists within the history of the church is the memorization that he did within this space of the church. And now you know.